But let's jump in and do a couple of cams. Um, so the next one is from Sean Sorensen. Hey, Sean. Um, from she California, looks like. I'm having trouble in getting a tool path to generate with a part that I'm trying to mill using fourth axis. Ooh, that's a good one. Um, and um, Sean sent a picture. So let me just call that picture up. A picture that said some, whoops, looks somewhat like this here. Um, so and it took me a second, uh, actually, I have to admit, I thought that this key slot was inside, but it's actually sticking up. Um, so Sean is trying to machine around this and having a hard time using the wrap function. Um, boof, chicka, 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 boof. The wrap function inside of Fusion. Um, let's let's take a look at this, Sean. I think I can show you a couple of, of neat tricks. So I'm going to start out by um, modeling something up that looks something similar to what you have there. Let's go up here. I'm not going to fully define this, so uh, forgive me. Everyone, let's do a uh, let's do a revolve right there around this axis right there, and then there was this T slot sticking up. So let's go in and create a something here, send a rectangle like that. Let's create an alpha line, draw a line up there. And then let's go ahead here, alpha line for across there, and do a snap. Oh, I thought that will snap the minimum. We can take the midpoint there to there, and let's do a Q. Select it all. And I thought first this was a cut, like a T slot, like this. But then I actually looked. Uh, again, and it looks like that it is more like this. That's a big T slot. Hang on a second. It's very tall. What happens when you don't fully define? Oh, without making a see. See how's that a gap down there? You see that? Why is that? Uh, it's because when we select it, selected these here, I didn't select these in there. See that? Now it's a solid. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so it's all about staying awake, right? I need perspective with auto. So if you're ever looking at it, it looks a little weird. Right click and do perspective with auto. That looks a little bit better. All right. So uh, the question that Sean has is how do I cam this? And and I'm, I'm reading your email. And I might be, let me just bring this file up again. I'm trying to machine with an eighth inch end mill. As soon as I select the wrap orientation, the tool moves to the side compensation. How could we, could we do this? And you can see that kind of like with the lines there. So a couple of tricks here. Um, if you just want to machine around the key slots as a finishing operation, let's do that first. Um, then I would go into manufacture. I'm going to do a setup. Now I'm going to switch this over to a, uh, a mill turn setup, right? Hit OK. And uh, let's go in here. Now, if you just wanted to do machining around, and I looked at your drawing, Sean, and I'm seeing you're using a 2D contour tool path. Um, so let's go ahead and do the same thing, a 2D contour tool path. Um, let's go ahead and select the tool. I'm going to keep this metric just to throw Sean off. Flat end mill like this. Um, when we go in here and uh, we can select our wrap toolpath, we select that phase. When you're selecting um, the uptown here, you can select, if you select that upstairs one there, and then, but there's no depth, then I will go over to the heights tab over here, and uh, you could select to a, um, to a selection, select right there. Okay, that's not valid. Okay. Let's do this instead. From selection, minus one. Okay. 
Um, I couldn't select that point. I don't know why I can't select the point. Edit, select, selection. That point. Oh, I think, did I select in there? Okay, the point don't work, the edge, I'm not sure what that point looks, but that the edge works here. So I think this is what you were, what you were trying to do. So select the, the top face so you get it to go all the way around. And then um, when we simulate this now, go to simulate, play the tool path, then you will see that you get a wrap function where it's gonna wrap around uh, the T slot here. I hope it's kind of like what you're looking for. Now, if you're looking to wrap around, because this is one of the next questions I'm going to get. If you're looking to wrap around the whole part, then we have to, the way the fusion works, we have to do a little bit of, a, of, of, a little bit of work here to try to make that happen. Um, what we actually will do is we will, we will cheat a little bit. So I'm going to go back into the design workspace. He's going to go over to the surface tool path. And in here, there is an offset. I'm going to select offset. I'm going to select this face, but I'm not going to put a distance in. I'm going to leave it at zero. I'm going to hit OK. That will actually copy that face. See, if I turn the original body off, see how we just copied that face? OK. Now, what we could do was we could break this face into two. So we can go and say split body. Select that face, break it with like this plane. Now it's two surfaces. So there's a surface on this side and there's a surface on this side. Now, if we drive those with cam and a wrap, then we can actually machine the rest of it around. And now this one is giving us a warning right now just because it needs to be updated. We can do that. Oops. Let's just like the right thing. Right click generate so this is still good if i simulate that you will still see that we are still machining around that that's all good um but if you want to machine that whole thing we could do a 2d adaptive clearing and go back i'm just going to use the same tool go back into wrap select this face and then select this outer edge as its its area hit okay and now you will actually see that we get a wrapped tool path around this. And if you're post supported, now I know that there's a lot of yellow, but that's because of the stock selection. Um, ignore that for right now. Um, if your post uh, supports this, it will actually uh, machine around. We can go and do the same thing. We can right click, repeat to the adaptive. Go to the wrap tool pass, select the wrap on the other side as the face and select the pocket selection there. And then it will do the same thing on the other side. So if we're turning our solid bag on the bodies, turn the two surfaces off and turn the body back on. Now we actually probably want the, the contour to be in the end. We just drag that down the bottom so you can drag in here if you didn't know that now if we simulate this now you will see let's turn this to the tail and again i have the stock set up that's why you're going to see all this and red and all this stuff uh, but there you will see that we would get a wrap function that would actually wrap um around this on both sides so there's the first side it's cleaning that off right now and then it can go in and do um, that wrap tool path there. Of course, in the machine, the, this piece will spin around and then it will machine that in the end. Now, you do probably notice if I turn the two tool path back on that uh, we are actually missing a little bit here and a piece here. You could go in with a file if you want to. Nobody wants to. Uh, what you could do is, and the reason it does this is because the adaptive stays within that boundary you selected, right? Um, what you could do 
was you could go in back into the design and you could do an extension of the surfaces. So if we extend this surface out a little bit, maybe just five millimeters, we could also do the same thing to uh, like this, this, um, move them out five millimeters like that. When we go back into cam, they will when we generate them. You will see that that second one will go a little bit past it. So you could actually, uh, with the, the, the post supporting it, you could actually get this, uh, should be able to get a pretty good tool path. So now you will see this one actually goes past the center. I don't know if it goes enough past it, close. It went out a couple of more, and half a millimeter more, that will, these two will, it does on the bottom maybe, they will overlap. Um, so that was a little bit of a, uh, a way to do this. I hope this is somewhat useful. I think this was the one you were looking for. Uh, Sean, by the way, I'm talking about posts. Um, don't forget that if you go to Google and you do Autodesk Post Library and you search on that, you will get in here where all the different uh, posts are. And if you go in here, you will see that there's the milling, there's the mill turn uh, in here. Um, they regularly gets updated. So here you can find all the different uh, posts for turning a mill post in here, all these posts for mill turns.